It is the Weather Blender blog for the 9th of March. Man, what a beautiful day we had today. Got up to 70 degrees today in some neighborhoods. And this is Spencer Atkins. Thanks for joining us here. Want to talk here a little bit about what's going on. I'm going to use our computer graphics today to kind of whiz through this because uh, I think it demonstrates a little bit better. Staying warm despite some showers. We do have a flood watch out. And again, that's going to be for Nicholas, Greenbrier, Summers, Monroe, Pocahontas, Webster, uh, uh, let's see, Upshur, Barber, and also Randolph Counties. That doesn't even start until Thursday night. Why is it out so early? Because there's a snowpack there. Anywhere from 10 to 30 inches of snow still packed in there. That equals 2 to 4 inches of water that's locked up in snow. That's going to continue to melt as we go throughout the next couple of days. Then we expect to put some rain in on top of that. Where's the rain coming from? Big area of low pressure sitting out here in the nation's midsection. You can see that thing just spinning around. And imagine that's a big old bike tire right there and that spokes are flying off as it spins counterclockwise toward us. And that first spoke is uh, actually only going to serve to kind of juice up the atmosphere. Looks like rain, but that's not reaching the ground. The air is very, very dry. So a lot of that rain activity is evaporating. Oh, sure, we can see a sprinkle, but that's about it. Then we can see more of those showers working their way across Missouri and Illinois. We expect to get into a handful of those on Wednesday. Thursday, as that system approaches, gets a little closer. Some heavier showers. Friday, some heavier showers. Saturday, once that thing begins to cross our neighborhood, things will begin to quiet down after Saturday morning, and then we'll have uh, some cooler temperatures over the next couple of days after that. Now, this is predictor. Again, a lot of times we like to use the government models and show you that. I think this one shows it to you a little bit better, makes a little bit more sense. You can see a warm front crossing the neighborhood. That's one of those spokes coming off that big area of low pressure out west. And there was a little sprinkle in southern West Virginia, and then we moved throughout the daytime on Wednesday. And you can see a little shower here and there, but also a little bit of sunshine from time to time. And with a southerly breeze, that's going to allow the warmth to really crank up here. Wednesday night, it's quiet for a while. Then here comes another bubble of showers, a little heavier variety on Thursday. And those could linger for several more hours. And again, you have the melting going on this whole time in the snowpack. Now, in terms of uh, rainfall, what we're looking at, uh, the difference between a couple of models here, the first model showed that the bulk of the precipitation is well over an inch, and it's along the Ohio River Valley. The second model here, this one shows you that it's to the east, right over that high terrain, and this is between, let's see, uh, actually between Tuesday and Sunday, and that's over two inches in the eastern panhandle and the higher terrain mountains of West Virginia. That's a problem if that happens. So, But there's no agreement in the models, really, between uh, east and west solution. So kind of have to just basically keep our eye on this for places like the Greenbri Greenbrier, the Gauley, the Elk, and uh, so on. Some of those high terrain areas. 68 for Wednesday, 67 for Thursday, 68 for Friday. So you can see things are certainly going to be running very, very warm despite all the cloud coverage. So that's it right now for the Weather Blender blog. Appreciate your time. Thanks for being here with us, and we'll see you on tomorrow's episode.